How to implement Web Authentication API in PHP Let us start by creating a simple demo page. There are two stages in Web Authentication, Registration and Validation. We will add the respective buttons on this page. Then in the JavaScript, create an object to contain the helper functions. Add a function to convert array buffer to base64. A function to convert base64 to array buffer. and a function to perform a fetch call. For the PHP, we will be using this web authentication library. Either do a git clone or use Composer to download it. Then, create a PHP snippet. Start with defining the project name and domain. There are no databases in this example. We will use a dummy user and save the credentials into a text file. Lastly, start the session and load the web authentication library. With the library in place, we can now proceed with the registration. All we actually need is to pass a public key into the credentials.create JavaScript function. In our JavaScript file, create a register object to contain the registration process. Add a function to call the server to get the public key. Attach the function to the button. Then in the PHP, load the web authentication library. Use the library to generate and output the public key. Also, generate a random hash for security checks later. Back in the JavaScript, feed the public key into the create function. After creating the credentials, upload it to the server. In the PHP, validate the uploaded credentials and check the hash against the session. (laughs) 
Once validated, we save the credentials on the server. Take note, this should be saved into a database normally. But for this example, we will just save it into a text file. Now that the user is registered, we can use the corresponding credentials.get function for validation. In the JavaScript, create yet another validate object. Similarly, add a function to fetch the public key from the server. Attach the function to the button. In the PHP, load the web authentication library and also get the user from the saved file. Use the library and saved credentials to generate the public key. Create a random session hash for validation. Back in the JavaScript, feed the public key into the get function. On getting the credentials, upload it to the server. In the PHP, we validate the uploaded credentials against the saved copy. Lastly, do whatever is required on validation. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Like and subscribe for more.